Hello, and welcome to a review of the BF109G in World of Warplanes. Now, what can I say about this aeroplane? It is one of the best ones that I've flown in the game, mainly because it's uh, really, really remove, uh, m maneuverable, and uh, it's got a high rate of fire along with uh, the go. amount of firepower that this thing has. So we'll start off with that. Um, it has two 13.2 um, machine guns on the front nose, a one, so one 30mm um, cannon in the nose of the aeroplane and then on our wings we've got two 30mm cannons as well. So that's a total of three 30mm cannons and two machine guns. And so that gives this aeroplane one of the highest, if not the highest, um, amount of firepower within the game. Along to the uh, engine, at the moment I'm flying with just the stock, but uh, that seems to be good enough. Um, you don't have to upgrade to the next engine, but it, it does make it slightly faster, although it isn't really needed. Um, as you can see here that I'm flying at the aeroplane there, and that damaged it quite a lot. Taking it off about half of its health, and I'll be spinning around a little bit now to, uh, to take it out. So we can see now that those uh, 30 mm cannons really do do the job and if you get them in the right place it can just rip wings off within seconds and you can take that aeroplane out. And this is basically because of how the game works. The uh, aeroplanes have hit boxes on them and if you hit a few 30 uh, mm rounds and then boxes then you're going to easily take out an aeroplane pretty quickly. Um, the only downfall to this aeroplane is that it's quite lightly armoured, shall we say. Um, if you get a few hits on this aeroplane by either the same BF-109G with 30mm cannons on, you're going to be out the sky in a few minutes, uh, even maybe seconds. So you have to really um, be on your toes with who's behind you and who's shooting at you because you can get shot down quite easily. So you've got a choice between kind of uh, how much firepower you want and how uh, much health you risk uh, to lose by trying to take another airplane, so that's something you need to keep your eye on. Um, as far as engine power goes with, say, the high octane fuels, I haven't really noticed that much. I just use the boost, I don't really use anything else. Um, it doesn't really catch fire that much, and as you can see in the uh, bottom, well, the middle of the screen, that I've got every type of ammo loaded into this aeroplane. So it should be uh, plus a 20% chance of fire when you're hitting with these shells because both the ammunitions loaded into this should have that. Uh, I haven't caught any aeroplanes alight yet, so I don't really know how much or how well that works. Um, as far as manoeuvrability goes, it's a little bit crap going round corners. Honestly, it, it kind of does my head in. And um, switching and turning round and trying to get people off your tail can be a little bit hard just because how manoeuvrable the aeroplane is. Um, it's quite good at climbing, you can get up pretty high uh, with the boost on. But the only issue is with this aeroplane is that. Um, once your engine gets hit, it goes really, really slowly once it's damaged. You can't um, do high-speed maneuvers or anything like that, so um, that's a little bit rubbish for that kind of stuff. Um, what else can I say about this? Compared to other other aeroplanes, um, I would still choose this one, maybe compared to a P-51D, um, just because of the amount of firepower it's got, and it's probably still slightly more maneuverable than the P-51, so 
I like it for that. Um, and we're coming towards the end of my life at the moment within the game. I'm going to take this aeroplane out and then uh, you can see actually that now here I cut the engine off so I've slowed down a little bit. The only issue with this aeroplane is your, your um, weapons heat up pretty quickly, which is the one I showed there. And they're almost uh, finished. And uh, this is where I die, so I'm going to spoil it all for you now. Um, what shoots me down is the well, it's one of the bombers, I can't remember what it's called now. But that's got four, you can have up to like four 30 mil cannons on that thing in the nose, so he hit me in the right place and I just came out of the sky. Here he is right now. You see, it just took my wing off and that was me gone. So that's kind of the advantage of the 30 mil cannons having on this aeroplane, apart from if you're not watching what you're doing, you die pretty quickly. So um, it's kind of your choice. And I think actually I'm going to review this aeroplane, which is the BF109E, I think. No. Uh -huh. Ooh. I think maybe it is the E. Hey, yeah. This will be the next one that I'm going to review because I quite like this one. It's a pretty good aeroplane, actually. So yeah. So if you uh, this helps you choose which tech tree you want to go down or anything, then I would uh, you know subscribe and thumbs the video up and all that stuff. Uh, if you subscribe, then I'm hoping to release maybe one of these a day. If I miss a day out, then it'll be the next day, but yeah, that's what I'm hoping to do. I want to get through all of the aeroplanes. So there's a review on each one of them. And, uh, yeah. yeah. Maybe I'll do some premium aeroplanes, because I haven't uh, bought any of them yet. So I'll see you guys in the next video. And, uh, please subscribe so you get told when the next one comes out. We are about to lose. See you then.